If you or someone that you know is suffering with vitiligo, I'm going to go through what causes vitiligo and some of the things that you probably haven't heard. So of course we know that vitiligo is the white patches or depigmentation in the skin, which happens more often in women as compared to men and can happen on different parts of the body. And I know it's, it can be very concerning for people who are going through this and needing and having the feeling that they need to cover it up. But these are the most common causes of vitiligo and what you can do about it. Okay. So one of the first causes is heavy metal toxicity. So we are exposed to many heavy metals in our environment, things like mercury, aluminum. They are in our skincare products, in our makeup, they are in the air and often in the water that we drink. So this is something that you want to definitely avoid your exposure to heavy metals, but also do some active detoxification to get rid of heavy metals from your body. And I've got other videos here to be able to give you some guidelines as to how to do that heavy metal detoxification and doing it safely and on your own. Another cause for vitiligo number two is lack of sunlight exposure. So this is probably one of those things that you haven't heard because we often talk about and in terms of some of the conventional treatments for vitiligo is to avoid the sun. I say the opposite as I often do because based on the research this can be linked to our lack of proper connection with our surrounding environment and the sun is probably one of the most important things that we have to expose ourselves to every single day. So getting that natural sunlight exposure in a safe way is going to do a lot for that vitiligo. Another cause, number three is EMF. So electromagnetic fields, and I'm talking about the man-made EMFs, the non-native EMFs, and that's what they're called. And this has to do with our cell phones and Wi-Fi and 5G and our exposure to this radiation, which is not normal. It's not healthy for our bodies, especially when we have an overexposure to this type of radiation from the non-native EMF. So limiting our exposure to EMFs is something that you definitely have to do because it could be one of the causes of that vitiligo. I've got other videos on EMFs, so make sure you check it out, how to mitigate your risks. Number four as a cause for vitiligo is blue light toxicity. And what blue light is, is something that is in our environment, again, from our artificial lights, from our cell phones, from all of our devices. They're made and actually manufactured to keep us awake and that's what blue light does is it wakes us up. Now one of the implications here is something called melanopsin and this is in our eyes, on our skin, and it is related to our blue light exposure and it's influenced by that blue light and it induces autoimmune skin conditions, of course vitiligo being one of those, and also is implicated with insulin resistance and of course leptin resistance. So if you don't know what leptin resistance is, check out my other videos again, but that's really important important to limit our blue light exposure. So one of the things that I talk about in my tips video is making sure that you're covering your skin when you have a lot of blue lights around you. And I'm talking just artificial lights. They're not actually blue. So I don't want you to think that it's just blue lights. I mean, our artificial lights from our light bulbs, especially the energy efficient light bulbs in our environment are higher in that blue spectrum of that spectrum of light and very damaging to the skin. So that's for wrinkles as well, ladies oh, and the guys as well. Okay. And and another cause, number five, is deficiency of certain vitamins. So you want to optimize your B vitamins. How do you do that? Well, you have to maximize the function of your microbiome. So making sure that you've got a good gut environment is really important for vitiligo, as well as iron and your vitamin D. So that comes back to, again, with vitamin D, healthy sunlight exposure, but sometimes you may need to also supplement with a good quality and highly absorb vitamin D. Now, for more tips how to help with vitiligo, go check out my video, seven tips to help vitiligo. I'll see you there.